what's up everyone welcome to a new review behind us is the new tesla model y performance this is a giga berlin made so we're going to take a tour of the exterior interior check out the details and the build quality so without further ado let's just jump into the review so we're going to here is the new um, tesla model y performance this is the giga berlin made as i've mentioned now the giga berlin is starting to ramp up numbers so the build quality should be better uh, this car just arrived last week on one of the first people who got it on test now uh, let's come a little bit closer just to check the uh, paint quality uh, gaps are perfect i would say um, on the front seems okay uh, of course you have the matrix capable lights but they're still not uh, or they still don't have the matrix functionality still waiting for that software update to come elon uh, fog lights standard um, now on the model y you have this plastic protection going uh, down so if you're going on this kind of light off-road uh, it's protected now some of you might be wondering uh, here at the bottom I can get lower uh, with the camera but because I have a tripod uh, there's a uh, speaker on the bottom for reversing now uh, how do you know this is a uh, European built car or Berlin well if you check the the number XP uh, like Windows XP that's uh, easy to remember uh, that's your Giga Berlin car you can see also um, that made in China cars had uh, extra washer nozzles uh, you can see of course the cameras on the top and a light sensor now to check the wheels these are uh, if I'm not mistaking, uh, 21 inch, yes, and as you can see, it came with the Pirelli tires. Now look at this. There's so little tire protecting the rim, virtually none. So don't get surprised if you damage these. Now uh, the Model Y has a one-piece glass roof, and uh, it has tinted rear windows, even the back. The Model 3, it stops around here, it's gradient. For some reason, if I back up, the uh, US, some sort of US law dictates that only SUVs can have tinted rear windows. So the Model X has tinted, but the S and 3 don't, which makes no sense because in Europe this is legal. So Model 3 should have that as well. Now I do love the black and white contrast and uh, on the rear you can see the diffuser uh, you can spec a towing hook but you need to spec it uh, while ordering your car it's not something you can upgrade later um, touch here you can see the uh, CCS combined or just type 2 with this one they added the stickers now last year and you can press here to close it up although you can use it your key fob or, or via the app and then on the performance you get this carbon fiber spoiler and dual motor is underlined with this red so it looks quite nice and you can see LED license place reverse camera of course you have the camera on the side repeaters there but you already know that now, if I back up, you can see fifth door. I, I'm a Model 3 owner. I regret that it doesn't have a fifth door like the rest of the Teslas because this is super practical. Now, I didn't plan to get this car for a review. I was supposed to get it just for a test drive, but Tesla was uh, nice enough to give it me for an extra hour. So I'm filming this. I'm gonna type in the liters. Now, this is nice and soft. This is new covered, comes in made in China and made in uh, Europe cars still not in the US but it should arrive at some point uh, you can put it like that you can see the space in there now it's hard to tug this in so I have to hold it you can see that now I have a bag here so just to show you now this is a little bit uh, difficult on the front uh, by the way, this is nice and flat. 
Now on the front, you can get this up and it stays in the upright position. You have the massive space inside. Uh, you still get uh, your uh, home charger, but uh, on the new orders, you won't get them anymore. Uh, you get the type two. Uh, they switch from black to blue one again. So that's that. Now over here, you have an extra room. There's emergency triangle first aid kit in this red Tesla bag. Now this is super roomy. You have extra space on the side. You have here to put some tethers there and same on the other side. On the left side, you have the 12 volt outlet there. In case you need to inflate your tires. And this car didn't come with the tire repair kit. Uh, I think it's gonna get there separately. That's how it came with my car. You can knock down the seats here. Now, uh, as you can see, to the points, you can manually press here and then knock down the seat from the inside. This, of course, can be removed. You can see there's a tab holding that. And it's not flush with this because you can tilt the seat. There is some traffic today here. Uh, you can put the seat in upright position or you can tilt in like that by using that one. Now, if someone's gonna say, why didn't you knock down the seat? Well, there you go. My bag is in the way. So that is very practical. Now, checking the top, as mentioned, tinted windows. You have two speakers and it's a nice carpet here and you have one light on the top. Now, this is lower, as mentioned. Uh, so it doesn't cover the speakers. You're gonna see that from the inside. Now focus on the sound when I press to close. It's kind of more silent there on the Model 3 and focus on the closing sound. Nice and quiet. Now you can see the gaps are quite okay. Still present, but a lot better than my Model 3. Now to open up, of course, when you press in the handles, you pull out, the window goes down. And immediately, not to forget, you have the now double glazed rear windows. And well, there should be Roman five here from the inside, but you can't see it because it's tinted. But to check the interior, this is when the seats are down. It's nice and flat. You can see the cover and the speakers and you can see nice difference from the factory tint. Now, push this back up. As mentioned, again, straight up forward position, and then you can uh, lean it, and you can extend this one up. Uh, Model 3 doesn't have that option. Now, uh, the seats are different. Uh, before, it was straight Model 3. Now, they've kind of changed the bottom seat on the front and rear. Extra cushion there. Just to come back to the doors, this is nice and soft. Same as on the Model 3, this is nice rubber inside. This is nicely padded, padded, Alcantara padded. Speaker here, metal finish. Carpet inside, Model 3 doesn't have that. It's just plain plastic. And look at the bottom. So compared to the Model 3, this is raised up. So you have nice area. You're not sitting in the squat position and you can see one piece glass roof. It's connected on the end there. Now to jump inside, I was sitting in the front. I'm a two meter tall person, 6.6 .6 in feet and plenty of feet room. I can put them inside, plenty of knee room, nice pockets. This is same as in the Model 3. Let's hear the closing sound. Quite okay. And you can see the two USB-Cs. Both for, both for fast charging. You can see AC vents, you can adjust those. And plenty of feet room. Uh, this is nice and soft. Uh, model Y is a bit wider, so you have this middle armrest also wider. Adjustable. This is all rubberized. And of course, you can adjust this one. It's gonna stiff also wider. And on the top, you have here and warm light you can press to 
turn them on or off. Now for a two meter tall person. Now let's straighten up this seat. So I'm obviously touching with my head, but when you knock it down, it's a little bit better. So yeah. And what I know noticed, there's a blue shade of um, top roof. It's green in the Model 3. And I think they've added, if you look at the sky, I think they added maybe a like an infrared filter, which Model 3 doesn't have. They've removed that. And you can see here, front is like the Model 3, but let's just go to the front and check it out. Now, I'm not going to be super detailed on this one. Uh, like I was on my Model 3, since I'm living all the time. But you can see also that protection there. Uh, different mirrors, same design, but a bit taller on the Model Y. Also uh, dimming, auto dimming is an option through the infotainment system. And at the front, you also have the, the camera would focus, double glazing. Front door is open nice and wide. Collector there, same materials. You can have wood or white, and then in that case, white seats. Although I would prefer white seats with the wood. And uh, here is the emergency release. Now on the rear, you don't have it, at least uh, not here. It should be supposedly uh, somewhere underneath this tab. You can see it's a little bit different, but it, an emergency probably not gonna pull that out. Uh, metal speaker finish down there. Uh, again, seat design has been changed, or at least the stitches. This part looks maybe a bit different than my Model 3. It's comfier, the top is the same. You can see that. And of course, you have these four pedals. You can, of course, buy those and upgrade your standard long range. Uh, power seats, uh, lumbar, it's removed on the other side for the passenger. Uh, apparently, Elon Musk thinks people don't use that, but people actually use that. I disagree. Now, let's get inside. Now, for a tall person, I notice that the doors are closing a bit harder. Need some maybe a lube. Now, for a tall person such as myself, this is way better than the Model 3 because of the sitting position is more natural. You have more room, more height, so you're sitting better. And then, of course, you have the better overview in the car. Now the overview around you is excellent, even for the blind spot, but uh, the mirror itself, it's a little bit narrow. You can see far behind you. Zooming back in. Uh, steering wheel, same. Um, I'm not gonna go into detail into this. Your uh, turn signals, wiper controls, your uh, speedo there. Let me just check something. I think resolution went to yeah, something's wrong with the resolution. All better now. Now there's a little problem with the iPhone camera when you switch for the wide lens. It doesn't get back into the crispy resolution as mentioned. Wipers and turn signals. Uh, your, uh, you know, bar reverse neutral drive. Hold the P for engaging the electronic parking brake. Uh, otherwise, it's just a hold. Uh, assist hold, uh, speakers on the top, speaker over here, just to cover this one, same magnetic cover. You can extend this one, unlike most of the cars, so uh, this area is not covered, and then in the Model Y N3, you can extend that. That is super practical, this is magnetic. Hazards on the top, warm lights, camera, auto dimming mirror. On the Model 3, it doesn't have this like hanging part, it's a little bit different. Same 15-inch uh, screen, very responsive, fast. Now to show you here, software, dual motor, and vehicle uh, VIN number, additional vehicle information. You have the AMD Raisin processor, and low voltage battery type is lithium iron, has a new battery inside. I'm gonna see if I can pop the plastic cover and show you that. The rest is pretty much the same. Uh, you can see power consumption, Average, it's pretty high, everyone was flooring the test car. Um, you don't need to see this. This is mostly all chill sport, um, which you probably saw in most of reviews. Of course, you can change stuff here. Uh, you can have display on a night mode, uh, just to show you that, the dark mode. Some people will prefer that, or the light 
and you can turn the brightness there. Now if you put your drive, now I have to use the key card since uh, that's how I operate the car. You can, this is my Model 3 key fob, you can buy this one. But um, let me see where they put the card. So it's in my back pocket. Just a key card, put it here. This is like if you're renting a car, you press the brake. Uh, you can see the car, I just wanted to show you that. Um, and I wanted to show you the reverse camera. So it's quite crispy. And you can hear the reversing sound. The back window doesn't go all the way down, same as on the Model 3. Press P to park or hold the P to engage parking brake there. Okay, small amount of traffic light just so you can see the visualizations. And I have two wireless charging pads. I got to show you this one. So there's a 12 outlet here. And the lock box. You can see that you get a little cloth there from Tesla and your USB stick for Sentry. To wrap it up, we're going to pop the trunk. It only opens, you have to close it manually. You can open and close the trunk from the inside. And just a little difference here. You can control the climate here or you can pop up the full menu. Then in the Model Y you have the biohazard filter, which is different. You have here for the rear seat and you have now heated wipers as well that's a new addition the rest is standard now i'll have to wrap it up but just i really try to show you the difference see this door is kind of um an easel lube i know i had that same issue now looking here this is perfectly flush so i think they're improving uh so there would be heaters on the wiper area beneath the glass but i don't think i can see that at the moment because of the sun but um, yeah they should be there uh, this new wiper blades have double nozzles on both ends uh, if you have that additional nozzle there and yeah to open this up and wrap up so it's the same front as on the model 3 uh, in addition it has this plastic cover because I think it's a bit taller. So it sits in nicely here. And there is a emergency button here. I think it was on the top, but I, but I forgot to show it to you. Now you can see you have washing fluid here, but there's your, for the fireman. Now this can just pop out. So Tesla might scream at me later, but I did it on the Model 3. As you can see, well, we can see the lithium ion battery, it's there. And this is huge HEPA filters. Now these, you know, pop back in, so we just press on them. And they like lock into place. So you don't have to worry that you're damaging your car because when you go to the service, you're gonna see they just uh, open this up, put it back, it's meant to be. And I noticed there's an echo here when I come closer inside. So that was the Model Y. Of course, you can adjust these and you have them on the, on the trunk. You can close it nicely like that. So that was the Model Y, just to show you that small detail I was mentioning and then I'm gonna wrap it up. So actually, no, excuse me. On the Model Y, you cannot adjust these. It was on the Model 3. And apparently, there is no emergency release for the rear. I guess it's only in the sedan. So that was the Model Y. So everyone, thank you for watching. Be a cool person, smash the like button, leave your comments below. How do you like the new Model Y performance from Berlin? Uh, it was a short review, I hope you liked it. Uh, share it, it helps me a lot. If you leave a comment as well, and if you like the video for the algorithm, I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.